Harvey L. Hall dedicating a lifetime of benevolence to the city he adored and its people as founder of Hall Ambulance Service Incorporated and while serving 16 years as Bakersfield's 25th and longest serving mayor. His calling in the ambulance business came by way of a dare, literally. Working as a hospital orderly in 1960, a friend challenged him to go on a ride along. The experience was so exhilarating the next day, he embarked on what would turn into a 58-year career in EMS. With a vision to build an ambulance company based on the ideals of care, compassion, and community, he founded Hall Ambulance Service Incorporated from his personal residence in 1971, the company quickly establishing itself as a provider of high-quality ambulance service and today is the 911 paramedic provider for more than 88% of Kern County's population. Working under the concept of unity in our community, Hall was truly a mayor for all of the people, always eager to acknowledge and celebrate the accomplishments of the city's residents and businesses. With the establishment of the Mayor's Freeway Cleanup and Keep Bakersfield Beautiful, championing the creation of the 10-year plan to end chronic homelessness, he gave of his time and resources to mentor Bakersfield's youth, which included donating his entire mayor's salary to create the Mayor Hall Scholarship Fund, awarding $253,000 in financial aid to 297 local students. In February 2016, Hall made the announcement not to seek a fifth term as mayor, citing that he was looking forward to spending more time with his family, including watching his daughter Amy coach high school basketball, enjoying special moments with his granddaughter Skyler, and planning getaways with his wife of 28 years, LaVon. Hall had transitioned from public office and was enjoying the beginning of the new chapter in his life. At the same time, his community impact and achievements were receiving accolades. California State University Bakersfield presenting Hall with an honorary doctorate of Humane Letters degree for distinction in his chosen field of endeavor. Community Action Partnership of Kern renaming one of its Head Start Centers as the Harvey L. Hall Child Development Center and on his 77th birthday on January 5th, 2018, Hall was inducted into the city of Bakersfield's Hall of Fame. And then, without notice, things changed dramatically. On the morning of April 17th, 7.30 in the morning, we had our bi-weekly staff meeting. Um, Harvey always ran the meeting very precisely. We started on time. And I remember he just kept taking his papers and moving them from one stack to the other. And everyone was very quiet, and that went on for a few minutes. And um, I remember feeling very uneasy about what was happening. And then when he started talking, he made no sense. And we knew immediately something was wrong. And uh, luckily, we had more than 20 paramedics in the room sitting five feet away from him. And uh, we were able to quickly realize something was very wrong. He was admitted to the hospital. At first, they thought it was a cerebral incident or a stroke. All of those tests came back negative. He had an MRI. And after further testing on a Friday evening, I got a phone call from the neurologist, which I immediately knew if he was calling me a Friday evening at 6 o'clock, this was not good. He told me that uh, he had found that it was a prion disease, um, that it was not treatable, and it would be rapidly progressing. Took him down by ambulance to Cedar sinai in Los Angeles, and they were able to run tests and sent the tests results to the Mayo Clinic, where we received uh, the absolute diagnosis of uh, sporadic CJD. Um, we brought him home under hospice care and two weeks and seven hours after that diagnosis he passed away. Just minutes past midnight on the morning of May 19, 2018, surrounded by his family and beloved dogs, his short battle with CJD came to an end. Word of his passing reverberated through Kern County with breaking news across all media outlets, leaving the community in disbelief and mourning. A community celebration honoring the life of Harvey L. Hall was held at the Robble Bank Arena in Bakersfield, California, June 2, 2018. 
In tribute to his 58-year career, a cavalcade of more than 40 emergency vehicles formed an honorary procession making its way through the streets of Bakersfield before staging in front of the arena. The ceremony, which was simulcast live by the local ABC, NBC, and CBS affiliates, featured nine speakers who shared personal experiences and spoke to many aspects of his life. But it was his daughter Amy who delivered his reflections poised, ever so eloquent, and with a touch of humor that brought smiles to the faces of those in attendance. But my favorite part of the phone call was always at the end. After I'd tell him I loved him, there was always a pause. It was a bit of time where he would really take in the words. It was almost like he was surprised every single time, and then he allowed himself to really let it settle in. He would then respond with an I love you back and immediately hang up the phone because he just wanted to get off the phone. My dad's pauses taught me to never take love for granted. It's not a guarantee, it's a gift, and sometimes it can be a lovely little surprise. Still in shock over the fast progression of the disease, LaVon Hall took to researching and finding all that she could about CJD. I never gave up hope, but the more I read, the more I found out, it made it a little bit easier. The Foundation's website was just an amazing source of information and where to go to find other things. Um, it helped us just so much. Through that, she learned about the Strides for CJD event and decided it was important to host one here in Bakersfield. Since the death of Bakersfield's longest serving mayor, Harvey Hall, and today hundreds will pay tribute to his memory by raising awareness about a rare degenerative brain disease. The walk to raise awareness about Crutzfield Jakob disease, also known as CJD, is happening at Lake Ming in honor of Mayor Hall. It was amazing. Um, Harvey Hall is so loved. And if just going out and saying, I'm going to do this in his honor, um, do you want to help? And most people said yes before I even finished. Or they would say, how can I help? Um, the Hall Ambulance employees were amazing. Um, they, they signed up immediately. It's Harvey Hall. This community loves him and they wanted to help. And, and having um, Debbie come out and be a part of our day, and she even did the walk. Um, and she was just amazed at the turnout we had and, the, and what we were able to pull together in a very short amount of time. And, and Mark and I were like, it's what we do. Uh, welcome to Bakersfield. And while he left us all too soon, his legacy and presence surrounds us every day, not only at Hall Ambulance, but throughout the community as a mayor who loved the people and cared deeply for his family. It has no pattern. Um, you don't know when you're going to feel better. You don't know when you're going to. It's going to hit you hard again. And people keep saying that first year, you got to get through that first, all those first, first year. But on May 20th, it was still the same. It still was very painful, and I still missed him just as much. I wanted to start remembering all the good. I wanted to start spreading all of the good and moving into a different place of healing and happiness and, and um, making each day better than the one before. And um, Strides and, and, and the CJD Foundation um, becoming a board member. I was elected to the board um, a few months ago. And that has been um, amazing for me as a tool to help me do that and know that uh, I have something, I have to do this. Um, I've got a job to do.